Hey gang, and we're doing something a little special today. I am going to go ahead and just talk about adventure mode. And I don't know about adventure mode. I've actually been learning this. So I think it'll be like a fun thing where I'll, t I'll walk you through how I learned adventure mode. And then that can maybe help you in your journey to learn more about Dwarf Fortress. So what are we doing here? Uh, well, the first thing that I learned about adventure mode to start is that I learned that the texture packs, most of the graphical packs from the Lazy Noob Pack, etc., uh, they will occasionally cause adventure mode to crash. And by occasionally, I mean, I mean, uh, often enough that it was unplayable on my system. So this is the original. When you get Dwarf Fortress all by itself, not the Steam version, not the Lazy Noob Pack uh, that the community has fashioned, this is what it looks like. And you can see I'm kind of exploring a cave. And I really got myself into trouble. This is my first adventure mode character. I think I rolled like a human. Uh, he has skills. This is inventory we're looking at. Most of this video is just me trying to get out of this cave, failing. I think this adventurer is doomed, frankly. Uh, but trying to get out of this cave and then trying to just kind of uh, activate different menus and see what kind of options I have. And a lot of amazing things. See, okay, right at the bottom there it says you cannot jump while prone. Keep your eyes on that middle bottom spot because I'm constantly hitting keys and it's giving me feedback. And you can like, in adventure mode, it's pretty incredible. You can like, assume an identity. See in the top left as well? Shout out to everyone. And I'm playing with this identity uh, menu. You can pretend to be somebody. Uh, you can lay down on the ground. You can uh, take a uh, submissive posture or get out of the posture, I guess, you know, to initiate well, not in initiate, but to end combat in that case, and then to stop uh, surrendering. Right there, your intense search does nothing. You cannot jump while prone. Uh, I already figured out that L is like, the keystroke L is look around, and then the capital L is actually like look carefully around. And you can fall, find little critters to eat, for example, if, say, you are uh, trapped in a cave like I am right now. Um, and the funny thing is, in fortress mode, when your dwarves are trapped, they will also like hunt small critters and then eat them. Uh, and I'm feeding and watering my my adventurer right now. I, I just had him eat a prepared hedgehog heart that he brought as part of his starting inventory. And I had him drink some water, you can see in the announcements page. I brought up that announcements page because it's pretty funny. All it's shown so far is uh, I started in a hamlet, in like a fortress or something. Uh, and I accidentally went down instead of up. So I was trying to get out to the world and like, you know, maybe see, get some quests, like fight some bandits I've heard. I've read is like a thing you can do. But you can see here, uh, I find a cave. I get caught up in a web. I fall down. I take a while to get out of the web. I get caught in another web. I get free. And then it's a lot of me crawling around in this cave. I don't remember how to get back. I don't think I know how to get back. And I, um, I think this character is probably going to die in the cave. I will explore the cave until I either get free or starve and die of thirst. Uh, and one of the menus that I pull up, you'll see there's an option to retire your character, which like in a fortress is called retiring. This I thought was interesting. So I have an undistracted upper body, lower body, and then an unfettered right foot, which I think means that like I have no injuries, uh, but like my right foot is doing especially well. Very strange. I have to figure this all out and study it much, much more. Um, but so in the main menu, you can succumb to starvation instead of uh, retiring the fortress. And both of those are just like, I like this map. Maybe I like what I've done, but um, the character specifically I can't do anymore. And so this is just me still exploring. Let me see how much video I have left. I have about a minute uh, and a quarter. Uh, so yeah, this is really cool. It is a little painful to not play with the graphics, but that's all part of it. You know, that's all part of the challenge is just to figure this stuff out and to kind of get in the mode, and uh, I'm committed to it. If if this explorer dies in the cave, um, then I'm just going to start another one, and I'm going to figure it out. This is me, again, just hitting all the buttons. You assume a submissive posture. This is me toggling submissive and uh, unsubmissive posture because I'm just figuring it out. This is how you play Dwarf Fortress. It's You boot it up. Uh, losing is fun. You just attack it. You hit it as hard as you can, and, and you slowly get better. You watch videos like this, and you learn things. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm sure I'll have more for you soon. Uh, hopefully more competent adventure moding. Uh, thanks as always. Bye-bye.